Turning to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Reads, For unto us a child is born, unto Israel a child is born. Unto us a son is given, unto Israel a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Now that's huge. Because first of all, we know Israel worships the one true God in heaven. And no other have, would have no other gods before them. Of course, that is one of our commandments. The very first commandment, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. But this is speaking of the Father. And yet, the Father would have Isaiah prophesy and bring forth this word of a child, a man-child, being born. We see in verse uh, 14 of chapter 7, conceived of a woman. And that uh, his purpose would be to have the government of Israel upon his shoulders. That is his purpose. And therefore, he would be considered like a king. But in this case, even greater superlatives because he's called a wonderful counselor. He is referred to as the mighty God. He's given the very titles even of the everlasting Father. So we see the titles of the Father conferred on his Son. which is hard to explain on the surface. I mean, you really got to dig down and, and get into, peel back the layers and get into understanding how the father could pass a title on to his son like this. But this child was predicted to come and to be born. And it reads on in verse 7, Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. And speaks of a time when this man child would have an everlasting throne over Israel. Well, no wonder when they were looking for the Messiah, they were looking for him to be a king. No wonder they were looking for him when Rome. Uh, was in possession of the land of Israel, and Herod was the governor over the state uh, under Roman rule. No wonder they thought Jesus, if he was this person, was going to overthrow the whole Roman occupation. But Jesus did not do that at the time, did he? He did not do that. Uh, yet, um, we did see him born as of a virgin. So, is it possible that this is future prophecy? Is there perhaps two phases to the Messiah? Would he come first from a virgin and then later fulfill the kingship? Is that possible? We see uh, another verse, uh, Jeremiah 31.15 And that reads unto us, uh, Thus saith the Lord, A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. And that's speaking of a future time when Rachel's children would be destroyed and there would be such great crying because the daughters of Rachel would, could not be comforted. Was this something that occurred? Did this happen? We know when Jesus was born, Herod had asked the wise man who stopped inquiring of him uh, to come back by way of his 
palace and to let him know uh, where this Jesus was so Herod could supposedly go and worship him as well. But we know that Herod had different ideas. Since the wise men did not come back to Herod, he sought to destroy Jesus and therefore he slew every child under two years old, every man child under two years old. And there was such a great weeping in the land of Israel. Under Roman occupation, this was the kind of thing that a governor did. Can you imagine that? The reason is he, he was afraid that this man was supposed to become king, this child, and therefore it would usurp Herod of his throne. Uh, so there, there seemed to be some evidence at the time that this man-child would become a king. This prophecy was known at the time. And therefore this prophecy of, of Jeremiah 31, 15 was fulfilled in that Herod would destroy all these very young boys. Something like what happened at the time of Moses. Remember Moses? And how uh, the Pharaoh sought to destroy any inherited kingship. And so uh, Moses was the only one saved of that, of that generation, that age of boys under two. And he was put in the, in the water, in the rushes. Well, the same thing happened with Jesus. Jesus came like a prophet, much like Moses had come. Same kind of circumstances. The world was, does not want to accept God's seed. This, this prophesied Messiah because the, the, the things that are prophesied about this Messiah is a world government and a world uh, rule that brings peace on earth, that brings stability and casts out all evil and darkness. And those who are evil in high places uh, really oppose the, the coming of this Messiah.